line, perpendicular lines. Find the slope and equation of the line that's perpendicular to 2x minus 3y equals 1 at the point 2, 1. So we're interested in the line that's perpendicular to this line. We'll want to know the slope of this line to identify the slope of the line that's perpendicular to it. So finding the slope of the line 2x minus 3y equals 1, we write the equation out. We try to keep the left hand side for the y values. So minus 3y is 1 minus 2x. Multiplying both sides by minus, we get 3y is minus 1, minus by minus is plus, so minus 1 plus 2x. If 3y is equal to minus 1 plus 2x, we can get y by dividing. y is equal to minus a third plus 2x over 3. So we now have an equation, a linear equation, in y equals so many x, and we can use that to find the dy dx dy dx of this side, dy dx of a constant is 0, and dy dx of 2x will be 2, 2x over 3 will be 2 thirds. So dy dx is 2 thirds, or 0.666. And dy dx is the slope. It's the same as m1, the slope of line 1. So m1 is 0.6666, and we'll write that there and hold it for use later in substitution. Note that two lines are perpendicular if and only if the product of their slopes equals minus 1. So from the note above, the slope of the line perpendicular to the line we were given must have a value m2, where m1 times m2 is minus 1. And this formula is given in the tables for perpendicular lines. Now solving for the slope of the second line, where m is equal to 0.666, which we had kept, we can find m1 times m2 must be equal to minus 1 from the tables. Substituting, we get 0.6666 m2 is minus 1, or just finding m2, m2 is minus 1 over this number. Minus 1 divided by that gives us minus 1 and a half. So, the second slope, or the slope of the second line, is minus 1.5. Finding the equation of the perpendicular line through this point 2, 1, we now know that y minus y2 is m2 into x minus x2. But we have a value for the point of 2, 1, which in this case we'll call x2, y2. So we can substitute that in here. So y minus y2, in this case 1, is m2, which we have, as minus 1.5, into x minus x2, which is 2. So now it's just algebra. y minus 1 is multiplying in minus 1.5x, minus by minus gives plus, 1.5 by 2 gives 3. So y is equal to, taking the minus 1 across, minus 1.5x plus 4. Now we don't like the 1.5, so we might just multiply everything by 2 to make the numbers integers again. So 2 times y is 2 times all of this. 2 times minus 1.5x is minus 3x, and 2 times 4 is 8. So we now have 2y is minus 3x plus 8. Taking the 3x to the other side, the minus falls off. So we have 3x plus 2y is 8. So this is the equation of the line perpendicular to our original through the point 2, 1. And here we can see a picture of it. Here was the original 2x minus 3y equals 1. It went through the point 2, 1. And here is L2 perpendicular to it. And if we look at the slopes, the slope of the red line, you go out 3 to move up 2. So the step is 2 over 3. And here, the step as you go across 2, you drop minus 3, so you drop 3, so the slope is minus 3 over 2. So the slope of L1 is 2 over 3, or 0.66, or 0.666 continuing. The slope of L2 is minus over, it's the vertical over the horizontal, minus 3 over 2, or minus 1.5. Those two multiplied by each other give minus 1, and this is a 90 degree angle showing that the lines are perpendicular.